Under the agreement, the names, addresses, and party affiliations of every New Hampshire voter dating back to 2006 will be sent to President Trump's Commission on Election Integrity, but lawyers say the information won't be searchable. Pictures of millions of pages of the physical voter checklists will be electronically sent. I think both sides in this are kind of coming out claiming, you know, some victory, but in the end it's really going to depend on what happens to the data once it's out of the hands of the Secretary of State. Two state lawmakers and the ACLU sued over Secretary of State Bill Gardner's plan to send voter data to Washington. They were concerned about how it would be sent. My clients brought the lawsuit to make sure that the state law was fo followed and it wasn't released in a digital database that can be searched, that can be placed on the internet. Gardner has said he was required to share public information under the right to know law. I do think that perhaps specificity earlier on might have been more helpful in clarifying all of this, but I don't know that that lack of specificity falls at the Secretary of State's feet. Political analyst Dean Spiliotis says it's now up to the president's commission to protect the data. I've been someone who's been very skeptical about whether or not this is going to put to rest uh, this debate over whether or not there is voter fraud. Um, but uh, Secretary of State Gardner seems to believe that this is something that's worth exploring. The attorney general's office says photos of the checklists will be put on CDs and then sent over the next several days. For a closer look at this resolution, visit this story on our website at WMUR.com. Live in the studio, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.